I feel like everyone in the My Hero Academia community thinks I hate Todoroki and I'm just some dumb Bakugo fanboy. So today I'm making this video to give you my thoughts on Todoroki. I discussed Deku as a character, I discussed Bakugo, now the only one left out of the three is Todoroki. So first of all, I'm the one Straha. If you enjoy my content, please leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you're new. If you're interested in seeing what I'm doing behind the scenes, follow me on Twitter. The handle's the one Straha. Other than that, let's get right into this video. Play the intro. So I guess I'm not going to keep you waiting because I can keep you waiting for the answer on how I feel about Todoroki. Is Todoroki a boring character to me? No, I do not hate Todoroki. I actually kind of like Todoroki. I think Todoroki is a cool character. I could also understand why people would choose him as their favorite character. Todoroki is a badass, okay? He has one of the strongest quirks we've seen. He looks cool. He is cool, okay? Let's dive into his writing though. Is Todoroki a well-written character? So first thing, let's look at his development. Yes, Todoroki is actually a well-developed character. He has the whole story with his father and his mother. He's also got some pretty unique physical character traits which actually tie into his development, like the scar in his eye, the reason he has red and white hair. I think Horikoshi in general is very good at developing characters because he gives a lot of his side characters very good development. And I'm not here saying Todoroki is a side character, I'm talking about other side characters in the show. So Horikoshi always has seemed really good to me in writing characters. The reason people think I'm a Todoroki hater is because I put Bakugo above him. Now, yes, I do think Bakugo is a better character than Todoroki. So I don't think Todoroki is a bad character. If I had to pick out a flaw from Todoroki's character, I could really only think of one. He has no emotion. And obviously I get that's part of his personality, like he's that cool, he's that cool headed character. But the thing for me is when he does have his emotional moments, they don't hit as hard as they do. And that's not that he's a bad character, that's who the character he is. I think Bakugo in this story is made to be a better character than Todoroki. So no, I don't hate Todoroki. But I do think My Hero has a lot of characters that are a lot better than Todoroki. In my opinion, Bakugo, Deku, um, even some villains, a lot of villains actually. Shigaraki is cooler than Todoroki. Stain is a better character than Todoroki. My Hero is filled with so many great characters that characters like Todoroki, who would probably shine in other series, don't shine as bright. That's just my personal thoughts on Todoroki. Um, that's my personal thoughts on him as a character. I want to know what your personal thoughts are. Todoroki fans, I hope you guys could like, you know, not be hella mad at me. And it's just my opinion that I think Bakugo is better than Todoroki. If you think Todoroki is better, go for it. Actually, no, I'm stating facts. Bakugo is better than Todoroki. Oh, let me talk about his powers, by the way. Uh, his half hot, half cold power. That's another thing for me that kind of takes away from him. Um, I think he's really powerful, but he doesn't utilize that quirk to the potential it has, right? That quirk is so powerful that he never really needs to train with his quirk. Anything he really does in life, he will always be good at it. Todoroki is that type of character. He was born lucky, right? Personally, I don't really tend to like those characters a lot. I think they're cool. I think they need to be in the story and I think Todoroki is that character. But yeah, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this content. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe to this channel if you're new. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. By the way, I'm also watching Pokemon Journeys right now. Um, I haven't watched the Pokemon anime in such a long time. I think the last Pokemon, like the last time I watched the Pokemon anime was during Diamond and Pearl. And now I'm back into Pokemon Journeys and I think it's really good. So I'm probably going to make a review on Pokemon Journeys sometime soon. Um, hopefully when I have more time on my hands, um, the reason I don't make long videos is because of school and, uh, work and all this type of stuff. So I, I'm just usually busy, but I try to get videos, at least three videos out every week, right? Also, I started getting to more into gaming recently. I don't know why I've been playing Among Us a lot. I've been playing Genshin a lot. Um, I, I started playing Pokemon Black. If you guys follow me on Twitch, you guys can see me game a little bit there. I don't usually stream, but sometimes here and there, maybe once a month I will stream. But yeah, peace out everyone.